Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the one-hand mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. We're working on a Cub Cadet XT1 Enduro Series, and as you can see, it's in pretty bad shape. Looks like somebody's been mudding with it, but today we are going to show you how to install a mower deck belt after we clean it up. Okay, so Cub Cadet is nice and clean. I'm going to go over to the bench here and show you some tools that we're going to need. Okay, so from right to left, we have the belt. Now, I normally show you the belt number, and this is the OEM part number for this particular uh, mower deck. It's a 42-inch mower deck. You got to make sure that you use the model number on your machine. Your seat up, and you're going to have the model number right here. So you want to take the model number, and this one's a 13AVA1CS056. Take that model number over to the internet and go to Cup Cadets website. Get your, make sure you're getting the right belt for your tractor or mower deck. Okay, so back to this, we got electric ratchet that I use all the time. Uh, we need an eight millimeter socket. We can either use a nine sixteenths or a 14 millimeter socket for the nuts that we have to get off. Um, three eighths ratchet here, a silver marker. We're gonna use a pair of needleless pliers. I'm gonna have an adapter for my electric ratchet. This is a quarter inch extension and you need a nine sixteenths wrench. The Cub Cadet makes a lot of different variations of the XT1. This actually has the 42 inch mower deck on it right here. And we're gonna, it's an LT42 inch, so we're gonna take this mower deck off now. Uh, first thing I would definitely recommend is if you can do it on asphalt or concrete, it's great. And also put the mower deck all in down position. And you're gonna grab yourself a pair of your needle nose pliers and the marker. And you're also gonna need the eight millimeter socket to take off a bracket. That all right, so we're gonna take off, we might as well take off this bracket in the front first. So this guy came in because the mower deck belt, as you can see, was off, all right? We're gonna put a new mower deck belt on and we're gonna try to find out why it came off. But this bracket right here, we're gonna take this bracket off and up here, there's a eight millimeter bolt that needs to come out. And that's where the magic marker comes in handy. I'm gonna use a, on the other side of the machine, which is right here. This is where it comes out. The bracket comes out here and it just slides into a hole. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna mark that right there so I know what hole, hole it goes into. You can see that there's a few holes over here and sometimes it get a little confused, but that's the hole it goes, that's gonna go back in there. So we're gonna take that off right now. Just loosen this guy up. And you're gonna be able to tell where this goes just by the wear marks on this. Pull this out and it should pull right out the other side. And there's your bracket. So you're gonna put your bracket off to the side. And since we're up here, we might as well take off this front clip first. This is the uh, arm that holds the front of the mower deck on. And you're gonna take these clips off. I call these clips bow tie clips, they're nice clips. Make sure you don't lose it. And you're gonna pop this out. And now I always tell everybody, take these bars out of the front. Because if you decide to pu push this tractor or drive the tractor around with this on the machine, you can jackknife it and then bend it. Okay, so we're gonna go to the back of the tractor here. There's a bracket here that holds the mower deck on. You're gonna take this clip out. These can be a little tricky sometimes, the way you have them in here. So it's a little bit true, take that out. And then what I normally do is I'll pick up on the back of the mower deck a little bit, okay? And then what it does is it gets the stress off the arm. So if you pick up the back of the mower deck, it'll take the stress off there. You can pull it up and out of the way. I usually put it up on top because what I'm gonna do is take this and put it up out of the way when we get to the other side. So we'll do the other side. Same scenario, got a little bow tie here. Bow tie clip, pull them out. Pick up the back of the mower deck a little bit. Take that, come out, put it on top. And now you can just use the, uh, the deck height adjustment lever and pull it up out of the way. So now what we have to do is on this side, we have to take off the cable. This cable here is your blade engagement cable and it has to come off. So what I'm gonna do now, now the newer ones I've seen, they have this little bracket back here. So what I like to do is take this, and I'm gonna go from behind the tractor, and I'm gonna to try to push this up out of here, like that. Now this one actually looks like somebody's had this apart already, but just take it out of there. You might have to bend this bracket a little bit. You don't wanna, you really don't wanna scuff that. Take it out, and then you're gonna to try to slide the mower deck out a little bit, Pull it out. You got to be careful of the cable. I'm just trying to get it out far enough that I can take that clip off. Because that's the problem is that 
you can bend the cable if you're not careful. So you gotta get this clip off. And the clip is not, not a real easy clip to get off. On these, it's a plastic, it's, it's actually a little plastic nubby right here. So it's a little tricky to get this guy to come off, off of here. If you can get it, just be careful. Now, to get this off of here, I recommend pushing in your arm all the way in as far as we go. You can pull this out a little bit more now by just pulling this cable out of here, right here. Pull it out of the, the hole right there. So pull this out, put that back like that, and then pull the deck out a little bit more. And then you're gonna, you're, this is how your blade engages. So if you just push this all the way in, this spring will just come right out like that. All right, so remember when you go to put it back in, you have to push in your, it's, this is your blade engagement lever right there. You're gonna push that in and then you're gonna flip it just like this. And then you're gonna go like that. And then you're gonna push this mower deck back in and you're gonna put that clip on there like that. All right, so I'm gonna show you this to you. I just wanted to make sure that everybody had seen that a few times. But we're gonna get this out. I'm gonna put this off to the side here just for a little bit. And we're gonna pull the mower deck all the way out. Okay, so we have the mower deck out here and we have to take off these covers. They're eight millimeters. I'm gonna use you on the dragon. These covers are very important. They actually are used as a guide also. So you gotta make sure that one, they're not bent up, two, that they're not broken, and three, this one here is a little bit bent, but you gotta look on the inside of them and you can see where the belts were wearing a little bit. Well, these are actually guides. This actually helps keep this belt on, this pulley. So it's very important that you do use these covers. Make sure you don't lose the hardware and take them off. Get both of these guys off. Okay, at this point, now we have to take this pulley up a little bit and this pulley up a little bit. And the reason being that these guides right here, these are important that you can't, well one, some people have bent these out in the past and they, they try to get the belt to go in that way. That's not really the way to do it correctly. The way to do it correctly is you have to loosen up the nut and on both of these and then slide this pulley up just a little bit. Now this one here, uh, this is where your wrench and your 9 16 uh, socket is going to come in with your ratchet. I'm going to use my electric ratchet. And underneath the pulley, which is a little tricky for me, you have to hold the wrench against the nut or against the bolt. And I just basically go get a feel for it. And then on this top here, I'm just going to loosen this up. And then what will happen is this will come out away like that. So, okay, so now we can take this out. Okay, and this is also the engagement, so you're gonna get your belt out. You're gonna go to the next one. Now, this one is a little tricky because the nut is actually on the underneath belly of this of the of the mower deck. So you pick the mower deck up. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the 916 wrench on the other side on top of the pulley. So I'm gonna put the wrench on top of the pulley here, hold it there, and then on this side. The nut is in here and you're probably gonna need to pick this away with maybe a pick or something, but there's a nut in there. There's a hole right there. Loosen that up a little bit, just enough. You don't have to take it off. Just enough to get that, just enough to get this pulley up away from the belt like this. Now, as you can see, it looks like these, these marks right here, they might've been getting caught up between here or something. I'm not sure exactly why, but I did find a bad mark in this belt somewhere along the line. But you want to get the belt all the way off now. All right, get the old belt off. And always check to make sure your new belt is really close to the size of the old belt. If anything, it should be a little bit smaller, but not a lot smaller. So I always check. Just check to make sure that your belt is very close, which this one is. This one actually feels a little bit shorter because the other one's probably stretched. All right, so we're gonna put this guy on. And this one does not have a diagram on it on how to put the mower deck. So just follow me as you're gonna put the outsides around and then you're gonna follow it up 
Remember, flat pulleys, normally, normally flat pulleys. This is a flat idler pulley. The back side of the, of the belt is flat. Normally, on most tractors, the flat side goes against the flat side of the pulley. We get the same with this side here. You're gonna put, now this one is the blade engagement, so it's a little bit, a little more tricky. And then we're gonna tighten this one up first. Now, also, I noticed that these move underneath here. These are in a hole. Make sure these don't come out. They, they can move around a little bit like that. That's fine. You can feel the notch in there. Just make sure that both of these are in the notches. So if you loosen them up too much, they can actually come out. So we're gonna put this back up in the air. And we're gonna, I'm just holding you with my legs. And we're gonna put the wrench on top again on this one here. And then we're gonna tighten up the nut that's on the bottom of this. Just like that, give it a good snug up. And then on the other side, you put the wrench under. I just feel, make sure it's locked in there. This one's a little tricky for me. Okay, make sure it's snugged up. And I gotta make sure that it's tight. So, yep, nice and tight. Okay, so we have a new belt on. Now we gotta put the side covers on. And that's gonna be your eight millimeter socket. side all right okay so we just want to make sure we check everything everything's good make sure your belts in the right spot now it's time to put the deck back in stop it right about here because what I want to try to do is I want to try to get our blade engagement spring on and remember how I showed you, you're gonna push this guy all the way into the engagement position. Wait for now. Put it in the engagement position. And then you can just put it right on like that. Nice and easy. Now I'm gonna push it in a little bit more because I don't wanna stretch this cable or kink it at all. Then we have to put it into this slot here. You're gonna have to pull it a little bit hard and then it's gonna just go into the slot right there. And then you gotta figure out a way. The bow tie clip I think was on a little bit different. I'm gonna put it in like this, and this is not gonna come out. There's, there's no way that that is actually gonna come out. I like that, that'll work for me. All right, so that's good there. And then we're gonna slide it all the way in. Okay, now we're gonna put the front stabilizer bar from the front of the machine back in the front. And then you pretty much just have to look for the wear marks. As you know, you can see the wear mark right here where that butterfly clip was. All right, so you're gonna put this ropes up, put this in, you're gonna put your clip on. Okay, now at this point, you can put the belt up into the pulley. It's probably gonna drop down again, but that's just for now. Then you're gonna come back to the back. You're gonna put your mower deck down all the way. That'll lower those brackets. And those brackets are right here. Sometimes they're not gonna be quite where you want them to be, so you have to move the deck around. And they're real close okay so you see how it's real close remember i told you in the beginning pick up in the back of the mower deck a little bit and you should be able to find the hole right right there then you're going to put your butterfly clip in some of these clips are a little hard because they don't quite fit quite right like that you just really have to push them that's where you need to you need those pliers again and just kind of pull it this one's going to be a little I can do it upside down. I like to go this way with them now. There you go. That went a little too far. That's the way you should do. Go to the other side. And we're gonna put this guy. I'm gonna lift the back of the mower deck up. And you just gotta find a slot right there. Go right in. I'm gonna try this one upside down. Actually, we'll go this, get it right way here. I like to face them that way. And. They definitely are a little tricky to get in. But, well, there it is. All right, at this point, I want to engage the mower deck belt. Make sure the belt is on the front of the pulley. All right, I double check that. Then you engage the mower deck right here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because that bracket up front. Okay, so now we have the bracket 
our belt's engaged. This bracket can be a little tricky. What you have to do is, I know we put the mark on the inner side, but you have to go over, put this guy up, make sure you get it on the lip of the frame. You gotta have it in the lip of the frame, okay? And then how it comes up through here, it's just like you can tell that the belt guide, it's just the way it's supposed to be. You're gonna put this guy up here like this, all right? And you're gonna, <laughs> a little tricky. You're gonna push this in a little bit, and then we're gonna put the bolt in just a couple threads just enough to make this stay in the hole guide right here and then you'll find your stud over here beyond on the frame and you're going to move it over to the hole right here and then you have it in the slot come back here and you're going to tighten that up Now when that's tight, you can see that your belt guide is keeping that belt in and also on this side is keeping that belt in. So when you disengage the mower deck like I want to right now, it's just going to sit just like that. That's exactly how it should sit. I always remember to engage the mower deck like that just to make sure that everything is running properly. So you have to make sure everything's running around your pulleys properly. And also the cable in the back that we put on the back of the mower deck, you're going to have to remember come around to the back of the tractor and put this cable back in its holster right there and that should be good to go there once you have it all set up and you're ready to go disengage the mower deck put the mower deck back up up position then you can take it out for a run make sure everything's good to go if everybody liked that video please give the thumbs up thanks for watching and please subscribe